What's up guys, Biker Dave here with a little uh, home assembly tip for you. If you got one of these little uh, dumbbell racks, it's a little free weight rack, you know, you can get them on Amazon, pretty reasonable price. Uh, some assembly is required, but it's not difficult at all. But if you got one of these and maybe you didn't get any instructions that came with it, or you're just not good at reading instructions and things, I'm just going to show you where everything goes real quick and a tip for you as well. You know, like here's here's one of the little bolts that comes with it. I recommend you put a little bit of either blue or red Loctite on each of the bolts because there are, and there's one here, one there, one here, one there, and one here, and one on the other side. So uh, I think you should put a little bit of Loctite on them because this thing will get jostled around a good bit over its time you know, of just using it and putting weights on it and taking them off and all that. So I think if you put a little blue Loctite on these, they'll hold together better. Otherwise, you'll have to keep maybe checking them a few weeks after you assemble it, that sort of thing. So anyway, if you don't have Loctite, no big deal. It's just a little pro tip for you. And uh, you can use a 532 Allen. This is what comes with the kit. But if you want to speed up your process a little bit, a little 532 Allen on your drill makes it a little easier even though there's only you know only a handful of fasteners to deal with but yeah it looks pretty darn good so let's take a little closer look at it um, so and you get these little cups that go on each one they're just little rubber cups and you get one spare also um, the slotted end is what goes this way and the other part just sort of rides on the back of each little uh, rest area right there. So you just basically push it down and it sits nice and flat on there. You got one for each, each little set. You got one pair for each set. No big deal. Um, these guys here, you know, you get three of these. One, two, three. Fasteners come in from the outside. Also, the, the beveled edge of these arms face outward. Notice how it's kind of protruding out. That's how it goes. And this side, same thing. The protrusion faces outward. And then it's got little feet on the bottom. They just slide, you know, these little slots that are already cut into these pieces, they just slide up on there. They aren't held together by anything, but the tightening of all your bolts and whatnot will kind of keep it in place. And then these little feet come with it also. It wasn't really clear, you know, in the instructions what to do with those, but I assume it's just for the floor. You know, if you're going to be putting this on a hard floor or wood floor or a concrete floor, whatever, you can put these on the very bottom just to give it something to, to sit on, you know, so it's not sitting on just raw metal. And um, this gives you a nice look at it right there. I mean, you know, some people complain that the instructions aren't good enough. I mean, it's really, this is a simple piece to put together. You know, it doesn't have much to begin with. So if you can't handle it, you may want to seek out a helper, but it's seriously not that hard to do. And uh, so I just wanted to show you how it looks fully assembled. Well, sometimes, you know, a video helps out a lot and just you're being able to relate to what it's supposed to look like, even though there's photos all over the Amazon ads. There's really not much you can miss as far as doing it. But yeah, it looks like a decent little thing. And uh, I would recommend that you put the heavier dumbbells along the bottom racks. And then your lighter weight ones, put those on the top. Um, you know, it should be sitting on a, like a flat surface. I don't know if I would put this on a padded carpet surface, quite honestly. Because it's not very broad. You know, I mean, look, see my hand right here? It's not a huge rack at all. 
This is more for your lighter weight stuff, maybe your 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 pound dumbbells. But I wouldn't try to put like 25s and up on them. It's not really made for that. This is for your lighter weight stuff. Uh, and that's why it's not very expensive either, because it's not very large. So, you know, use, use that info as you will. And um, make sure that you check out our other videos. We got all kinds of stuff on our channel relating to working on stuff around the house or working stuff in your garage. If you have motorcycles, dirt bikes, ATVs, scooters, cars, trucks, hot rods, lawnmowers, whatever. You know, if you got stuff to work on, we try to do videos that might help you out. But we also we also have some entertainment videos and uh, VHS transfers from the old days, all kinds of cool stuff. So check it out, and I'll put links down below where you can get this rack uh, on Amazon, so make sure you look for that. And if our video helped you out or saved your life, so to speak, make sure you click the thanks button that's underneath the video screen. Or with any monetized YouTube channel, uh, make sure you click that thanks button and shoot them a donation, no matter if it's us or anyone else. We really appreciate it. And that's it. Y'all have a great day. We'll see y'all later.